everyone. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and welcome to my show today. And it is about styling updated beachy waves. And you may wonder what updated beachy waves are. And basically a few years back, the tight curls were really in when it comes to beachy waves. But now there is a looser look that is being shown. And I'll show you three different women here as examples. The first is Emily Ratajowski. I don't know if I said that right, but she's got some very loose beachy waves with bangs. Sierra has loose shaggy waves now, and Shay Mitchell has windswept waves, but none of them are those little Bo Peep curls, which is what I always thought of as beachy waves. And quite honestly, until recently, in most of my beachy waves hairstyles, I looked a little Bo Peep-like, which is okay when you're 20 or 30, but when you're 65, it is kind of aging. And so part of this video is learning to style beachy waves in a little more loose, kind of non-defined way to give you a slightly younger look. I don't know if it takes 10 years off, but I think it certainly doesn't hurt. Here's a look at how I used to style my hair before the waves, and there it is straight, and it looks pretty severe, as you can tell there. And I have to admit, it takes a little more effort to do this, and you guys always think I'm so high maintenance, and I have to admit, I will do any beauty device out there, any home beauty device, I will definitely spend time on that but it really bothers me to stand there for 20 minutes styling my hair, which is one reason I absolutely love the new Zuvi hair dryer that I have, and it's not that new to me. I've had it now for maybe about two and a half months. It has replaced my Dyson dryer, and I can't believe that because I loved the Dyson. For those of you who follow my channel, you know that I've done a couple videos on the Dyson, but I cannot believe this. They sent this to me, and I thought, oh, I'll use it for a while, but I'll go back to my expensive Dyson because it is fantastic. Well, Dyson move over, the Zuvi is here, and I am never looking back. Absolutely love this dryer. And when I style my loose beachy waves, and this is the hairstyle that I got, I will be using my Zuvi dryer, which I love. But first, I did want to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today and all the jewelry. It is all from Amazon, except the pants. They are Zara, and they are controversial. I wore them to work yesterday, and all the girls just love them. I never get comments on my clothes, because I'm not really Miss Wardrobe, quite honestly. I'm pretty casual at work, but they really love the cargo pants. My husband, though, he doesn't like them. The minute he came in, he said, you wore those today? You know, but husbands are husbands, and I'm me, and I just think they're cute, and they're easy. And the way to wear those wider leg pants, I have done a lot of research and figured this out, is to wear a little tank top on top, something slim. This is an Amazon tank that I've had. Oh, I've had this one for a couple of years, and I have this in seven or eight different colors. It's absolutely wonderful. And then I have a gorgeous new black Teddy Blake purse that I actually ordered myself. They sent me a couple of purses, which I'm very grateful for because I love them, but I ordered two more. It's becoming a little bit of an addiction for me, but I think I have enough purses, but I love that Teddy Blake purse. First, before I show you how I style my hair, I did want to give you a few details about the Zuvi dryer. And here it is in its gorgeous little box, and it is much less expensive than the Dyson. And there is a discount code below the video. And thank you so much to the Zuvi people for sponsoring this video. I would have done this video regardless of if they'd sponsored me, but I really do appreciate it. It does help me be able to continue to bring you videos. And again, I totally prefer it over the Dyson dryer and not just because the Dyson is heavier and it has that big cord. This is like half the weight. This is only one and a half pounds versus the Dyson, which is over three pounds. So it was always difficult to, to deal with that Dyson. And in addition to being lighter and less expensive, the Zuvi is a whole different type of technology. Instead of drying with heat, as all other blow dryers do, it dries with light. And I will say it has four different modes. And one of them, the styling mode, has a little bit of heat but it's at like 101 degrees versus traditional blow dryers that dry at about 140 degrees. And as you can tell, I think, when you dry with less heat, you dry with light, it leads to shinier hair. Here's a look at some details from their website. It says dry with light for healthier and shinier hair. And as you can see, the Zuvi got an Allure 2022 Best of Beauty Award, which is just wonderful. But you know, lots of products do win the Allure Best of Beauty Award. That just means that a lot of people out there really like it, which is great. But I was most impressed with a different award the Zuvi got, which is, and you can see it in the lower right there, the Time Best Invention of 2022. And that award especially impresses me, the Best Invention of 2022, because it supports Zuby's claims that this is not just a standard blow dryer with, with different marketing. They have actually invented a whole different way to dry your hair using light, 
And I have to agree with the Zuvi people that it does produce shinier, healthier hair, and the studies even back that up. In an independent study, they found that Zuvi users experienced up to 109% increased hair moisture over traditional blow dryers, and they also had 38% shinier hair, and 17% were found to have smoother hair. And look at my hair here, and I'm going to go ahead real fast before I get into the demonstration and show you a couple of different, maybe three different pictures of my hair. In the first picture, that's the way my hair used to look with that standard straight style on the left, and I was using the Dyson. And in that second picture, I'd started doing the beachy waves, but again, I was using the Dyson. And in the third picture, that was two weeks after I started using the Zuvi. And look at the difference in the gloss level, the shine of my hair. There is no comparison between using a traditional blow dryer like the Dyson and using the Zuvi. I absolutely love the intense shine that the Zuvi produces in your hair, and I really think that blow drying with the Zuvi is much less damaging on my hair. Well, enough of the details. Let me wind back the clock to about seven o'clock this morning and show you just exactly how I styled this hair. Okay, I have just towel dried my hair, and I use a microfiber towel because I think it gets everything a little bit drier. Really do appreciate that. And in the shower, I used the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. I have used them both for probably two, two and a half years. I have backups in there. I absolutely love them. I think it really does help increase the body of your hair. And the first thing I do before I style my hair is I use the Kenra Volume Mousse Extra 17. I used to use the Joyco Mousse, but they changed the formulation and it went from fabulous to horrible. Don't you hate it when they do that? But basically, I just get a good dollop there. A dollop is definitely a grandma word, don't you think? I don't think our kids are going around saying things like, let's have a dollop of this, a smidge of that, you know, that kind of thing. Oh well, a dollop works. So I just put that on the crown primarily, a little bit to the sides. Then I'm going to go in with some Boldify, and I use this to increase the volume in my hair. Just spray that all over. Again, I have used this for years, and I have backups of this. Every now and then I get in trouble with backups, though, because all of a sudden I'll find a great new product and I'll have two backups in the wings that I've wasted money on. So that's not always good to have backups. And then I'm going to use the Pureology Professional Color Care Color Fanatic, and this is just a leave-in spray, which is a conditioning spray, has a little bit of heat protectant, too. I think it gives a little extra body, which is always nice. Then the last thing I use, and actually I do these in no particular order, but this is the Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Plus Biotin Plump and Lift Styling Cream. And I basically just use this, again, a little dollop, smaller dollop, and I just rub my hands together, and then I'm putting it from probably this part of my hair down. I don't necessarily put it on the top, even though it says lift. I guess maybe I should try that. Okay, here we go. We are all product up, which is great. And actually, I just started this video and I forgot to, to add my products and I got my hair all blow dried and I wondered why it all blow dried so fast and so thin and it was because I was missing my products. So anyway, okay, here we go. And this is the wonderful little Zuvi and this has the style attachment on it. I'll take that off, it's magnetic. And I'll use that at the end. But basically, here is how the Zuby looks here. It basically has a little on button here, and then it has these four settings along here. And it is care, fast, soft, and style. And I use the fast setting. And I'll go ahead and turn it on. And there it is on the fast setting. It's kind of weird that you're seeing these lights, but I really prefer their approach, they say they style with, with light, not heat, at least 90% of the time. On the style setting, there is a little bit of heat, but even that is a lot less than most, most traditional blow dryers. Then I just get my flat brush, and I, I'm not really styling, I am just using this to make sure that everything gets dried nicely. And one thing I like to do is I like to really hit the roots. So there they are. There we go. And then I'll take the roots and I'll just kind of pluck them up a little bit.
And then I do the same approach in the back where I'm just kind of separating the roots and drawing the roots separately. And then I do the other side. You see, I'm just fluffing those roots up. Fluffing. <laughs> fluffing the roots. And I think that gives a little more lift to the hair, which is helpful. Hit that again. Now I'm going to get the roots on this side. I just kind of do this any which way, but I definitely like to hit the roots. I usually go in this way twice. I circle my head from one side to the back to get those roots where they need to be. Normally, I let my hair just totally fall down, but it seems a little weird to have a video which is just you looking at the, my face with a bunch of hair on it. I'll do the roots on this side one last time. Okay, let me turn this off. Now, I think I'm about 90% dry. I'll go ahead and put the styling head on. And I don't really do much styling because I'm not really like round brushing my hair or anything like that. But I do use this for the last maybe two or three minutes, maybe two minutes. So you just turn it on again. Then you're going to go to style. I don't know if you can see that, style. And style feels a little bit cooler. And actually it is. Especially if you blow dry it fast, it feels a little warmer. Even though it is just using light, you can feel the warmth. And I'm basically doing the same thing on style that I did on fast dry. If you like to have your hair dried fast, but you have more sensitive hair, there is a setting called Care that I use quite a lot. And it is basically a milder setting maybe than fast. If you have maybe thin hair or hair that, you know, is subject to breakage, but I truly think this blow dryer on any setting is much gentler on your hair than traditional blow dryers. I love this new technology. You know, they say you can't invent a better mousetrap, but I'm amazed that, that the Zibi people really did. Okay, now I think I'm dry. Yes, I'm dry. And I look kind of frizzy, that's me and I just give myself a little part there. And the next part of this is flat ironing my hair, and I forgot to turn it on, so I'll be right back. Okay, now I am ready to flat iron my hair, and for years I've used this Aquage Beyond Shine Spray, and I'm really not sure if it does anything, but I've just used it for so long and it seems to work okay. You know, I'm not really sure that it gives me more shine. Actually, I think the Zuby gives me more shine. If you haven't seen my first video about the Zuby, well, in this, in this video, I'll go ahead and show you those pictures, but the increase in shine using the Zuby is pretty amazing. Okay, here we go with the little flat iron. This is a two inch flat iron. There we go. And I just do that, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this out of the way, just so I don't have to deal with it. Then I start over here, and this is the challenging part of my hair because I have these little waves right here, and I think that's pretty common. I usually go two passes of the flat iron, then I go in with another one. I use about an inch section, I would say, although that's pretty hard to tell, isn't it? They always say use an inch section, and how does one know what an inch is? But I'm just flattening out all the, the frizz. I have frizz in the front and waves in the back. which is not really a good look. Okay, now I'll take this side. There we go. Now I'll do this.
and it doesn't have to be perfect. I just do the best I can. Okay, there we go. Everything is kind of flat ironed. There you can see it. I'll show it in the back. It's probably not perfect, but you know, that's okay. My cleaning ladies are about to get here. So I'm kind of trying to hurry a little bit. Okay, next I go in with the curling wand and I'm trying to get more loose curls because I was using a smaller wand and I think I got such tight curls that I look like little Bo Peep. That's maybe attractive at 20, but at 60, it's not very attractive. Okay, then I use this Kenra Thermal Setting Spray because I really think it helps keep the curl or the wave. And I just hit it right there with a the little, with a little brush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. This is not an exact science, and that is not 30 seconds. I should really probably count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000 to know how many seconds it is. But there's that first little curl, and I'm going to go ahead and stick that up. I'll just use this little, this little comb. I get those from Walmart. That's how I make that little puff in my hair. For those of you who are curious about that, I call it the buff for some reason. The buff in my hair. Then I'll take this and I always go back from the face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five. Then I always hold it there to give it just a moment to congeal, is what I call it because you want the curl to kind of set itself in a little bit. There that is. Then I'll do the next one. About an inch section, I would say. And I'm going to speed up this part of the video because this is kind of boring for you to sit and watch me endlessly doing these. It doesn't take very long though. I'll be right back, I think the maids are here. Okay, the cleaning ladies are here, which makes me extremely happy. Although, they're going to have to start in the bathroom last. Okay, once I finish with all the curls, and there they are, very haphazard looking, then I go in with my Kenra Volume Spray Super Hold 25. I'm out of this one, but I have a backup in my storage room. I'll go ahead and just spray all those curls. I just kind of want to spray the curl in. Then I wait a few moments until it dries. Now, once that dries, I take out the little buff comb, and there's that little buff curved comb there. And then I just sort of use my fingers to pull out the curls a little bit. There they go. I like that one being a little higher there because I think it gives me a little more, more volume on the side. So there is how it looks, finger fluffed, I guess. And so basically I'll just take this like this. And then I like to have the sides kind of curving back like that because I think it gives me a little volume there, which is very, very nice. And then I'm just going to go in on the sides and just do a little back combing. Again, it's just kind of, it's a little different every time, quite honestly. But I think the back combing gives you a little bit of volume. I'm, I'm kind of a 90s girl and I, I like the big hair. <laughs> I always like that. And then you just kind of play with it. And sometimes I'm able to, to not put the little comb in there. And then other times I do use the comb. I guess I'll go ahead and use the comb just because it is easier and it helps to give me a little volume on the top, which I really do like. And I don't know if you can see that. I'll turn around so you can see how it looks. I've got all my hair in the front because I'm styling it. And I like a little bit of that going there. Kind of 
kind of like how it goes out and then comes in a little bit. Take a little of that here and put it in the back. Not a whole lot. Got to cover up your back. Okay, that is the finished style using the Zuby dryer. And the last step, there it is on the side. There it is on the side. The last step is I go in again with my Kenra Volume Spray 25 Super Hold. Kind of hold the, the sides out to get them to stay up. There it is. Well, that was a look at exactly how I styled my hair. I really like this hairstyle, and I know I really couldn't get this hairstyle with all this shine without the Zuvi. And there is a discount code below the video and a link to their website so you can learn more details about this revolutionary new hair dryer. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And lately, if you've been following my channel and watching this portion of my videos, I've really just been showing you details of my own personal happiness project. And for those of you who followed my channel, you've seen this book before, The Seven Day Mental Diet by Dr. Emmett Fox. And I've been doing this and it is just wonderful. And basically this is a little tiny book. It takes like 10 minutes to read. And I have to admit every day, you know, I've highlighted it and every day I go in there and read the high points again to remind myself how to do this. But basically what you do is for seven days, whenever you get a negative thought or you want to gossip about someone or you have a negative thought about an event, even for instance, when you're watching the news and something happens like politically that you just rebel against and you just get all irate, that's just wasting our life to entertain those negative, hateful, awful thoughts and we just don't need those. And so the seven day mental diet is a recipe for you to use to try to reduce or eliminate those negative thoughts, those rage thoughts, anything that doesn't make you happy. So I have been doing that. And in this book, it does say when you get a negative thought and it, it does admit that you will get negative thoughts, you're not going to be perfect. Everybody has these thoughts arise. But the point is that you don't entertain those thoughts. You don't mull it over and think about it and nurse that resentment, whatever. You try to get rid of it as soon as possible and change it to a thought of gratitude. And in something else I was reading or maybe a YouTube video I was watching, it talked about in the morning to have a gratitude shower. And I try to do that at least for the last few mornings I've been doing that and I think I'm going to continue it. But I call it my gratitude shower because number one, I love my shower. I just, it feels so good. Absolutely love that. What you do is whenever you're in the shower, think of three things you're grateful for. Just three things. That's all you have to come up with. And for me this morning, the first thing was the shower itself and the warm water. The second thing was my husband and how fabulous he is. And the third thing was that I have a YouTube channel, which I always dreamed of, and I really want to stop wishing things were even different on my YouTube channel, you know, wishing my channel were bigger or, or whatever. I want to really start appreciating what I do have, and I truly do appreciate all of you. And if you also are working on making your attitude a bit more positive, then I hope you'll share that information in the comment section below the video, either the struggles you are having or some of the ways you are using to brighten up your mood and be happier. Well, I guess that's all I have to share for now. Can't wait to see you in my next video.